Boom, ba doo, ba doo, dee dee, boom. Oh, Lulu, little Lulu, little Lulu, with freckles on your skin, always in and out of trouble. Treasury, fellas. On a hot day like this, we ought to clean up. I school lemonade! Huh? Lulu, we were here first, so scram. We will not scram. You scram. for only 15 cents. Only 15 cents? Well... <laughs> hey! Fooey, it's only water. I'm not paying for that. Try ours. We use four whole lemons. La -da -da there you go. Gosh, Lulu, that's the best lemonade I ever tasted. Thanks. I told you you couldn't make good lemonade out of two lemon drops. Listen, fellas, we have to put Lulu out of business. Let's wreck her stuff. No, Wiggy, that wouldn't be fair. I say we put a frog in her lemonade. Wow, a frog in her... Wow, he's perfect. Look at him. Boy, I'm a genius. Gotcha! I'm giving Willie the most important job. But listen, fellas, we all have to help out. Now, you go over there. Ha <laughs> this will ruin her! Shh! Let's give Willie time to get around the block. Then we go to work. Wow! Look at this! Gosh! Did you ever see anything like that before? Gee whiz! What's going on, fellas? It's a secret. Come on, Tubby, let us see it. Ah, uh, who cares? Come on, Annie. We have more important things to do. <laughs> <laughs> Those boys! They did this! They ruined our lemonade and we don't have any money to make some more! Say, I bet this beautiful frog could eat all the insects in my garden! You can have him, mister! Well, thank you! Let me see. I think a great big frog like that is worth a dollar. Wow, we got a dollar. Hey, that was my frog. That should be my money. Oh, so you did put the frog in our lemonade. Uh, well, well pour out that old lemonade, Annie. Fresh lemons coming up. Want to wreck their stuff now? No, Wiggy, that's still not fair. Besides, I have a better idea. This one's sure to work. Eddie? Get ready to do some climbing. Now listen, everyone. One bottle of ink and the most brilliant plan in history. 
Okay, Eddie. You think you can handle this job? Sure, Tubby. Tubby. <laughs> Ice cold lemonade! Get your ice cold lemonade! Ice cold lemonade! Black lemonade? Huh? How'd that happen? I don't know how, but I bet those boys did it. I'm gonna go around there and show them! Wait, Annie. I have a plan. This way we can really get even. Ice cold lemonade! Hey, what's the matter, Lulu? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you in the lemonade business anymore? No. Our lemonade turned black. I guess the lemons were bad. <clears throat> Gosh, Lulu, that's a shame. We feel awful for you. Say, boys, can I buy a glass of lemonade from you? What? How can you even think of buying lemonade from them, Annie? It's hot, Lulu. I'm thirsty. Here you go, Annie. Thanks. Annie! Hey, let go! It's my lemonade! Hey, don't you dare drink it! Annie! Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh. <gasps> oh, no! Oh. Annie? <gasps> oh, Lulu! <sighs> I'm poisoned. Oh. Poisoned? Oh, fellas! Fellas! You killed Annie! I didn't do anything! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Call the police! Arrest those boys! Oh, oh talk to me, Annie! <laughs> it worked, Annie. They ran away. <laughs> Great lemonade. Bye. Bye. Look, Annie's okay. Boy, thanks a lot, Tubby. Since you closed your lemonade stand, we've made lots of money. So, here, this lemonade is on the house. Thanks, Lulu. Gee, great. <gasps> hey, what about me? But we thought you only liked ink and frogs in your lemonade. No? Mom, can I please have a loaf of bread? A whole loaf of bread? What on earth for? I... I, I want to feed a friend of mine who is going on a very long trip. Oh, who's that? A wild duck. He's over in the park lake, and I'm sure he's going to start to fly south pretty soon. Hmm. How about these three dry slices? Thanks, Mom. This will help that duck get strong for his long trip. I just hope he hasn't left already. Oh, goody! He's still here. Here, ducky. Here's some bread for you. There. All gone. Now you can start flying south. Maybe I'll see you here again next year. He'll probably fly away over the clouds and end up a hundred miles from here. Oh, what are you doing here? You should be on your way south by now. But I haven't got any more bread, if that's what you want. Goodbye now. Oh, no. I'm sure I can run faster than a duck. They have such little legs. <gasps> but I forgot about his wings. He's following me like a little puppy. Here, Ducky. Let me pick you up. I won't hurt you. Let me pick him up. He's not afraid of me at all. I think he likes me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep him. Oh, boy, won't the other kids be surprised when they see me with a pet duck? Wow, a pet duck? I, I want, want one! one. Shh. But maybe Mom won't like me having a pet duck. I'll sneak him upstairs. Shh. There, now you're safe, but you have to keep quiet. We don't want Mom to hear you. 
Maybe you need water to swim around in. Hello? This will be better than that muddy old lake over in the park, Ducky. There, how's that? Oh, Lulu! <gasps> Coming, Mom! Tubby called, dear. He'd like you to bring him some glue. But, Mom! The poor dear is sick in bed. It would be nice if you went for a visit. Okay, Mom! <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Tompkins. I brought Tubby his glue. Blue Tubby. Thanks, Lulu. Say, Tubby, have you ever known anyone who had a pet duck? Pet duck? Nope. But that reminds me, I heard there's some guy who's playing at the Bijou Theater, but he lost his pet duck. And it was worth a couple of thousand dollars. Gosh. Did, uh, they say what the duck looked like? I think it had a white ring around its neck. The owner's offering a reward. A reward? Wow! Bye, Tubby! Oh, boy! A white ring around its neck! That sounds like my pet duck! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! It pays to be kind to animals! Oh, he's gone! He couldn't have gotten out! The bathroom door was closed! Mom! Mom! Yes, dear? <gasps> what? What's that? It's dinner. We're going to have roast duck for supper tonight. Isn't that nice? was the other duck I found after all. What other duck? Where is it? It's in my house, but... Come on, take me to that other duck. But my mom... I'll explain everything to your mom. And if it's Wilfred, I'll give you a $10 reward. The problem is... Ah, yes, this duck. We'll drop him off in the park first. Uh, but maybe you better only give me uh, $5 for the way Wilfred is. Where is he? Mom, where's the duck? The duck's in the oven! In the oven? Oh, no! What have you done? Get away from that oven! Wilfred? Wilfred, is that you? Who said you could cook that duck? If it's any of your business, it's mine, and I paid for it at the market. Gosh, Mom, I thought you... I think I hear quacking. Is that man crazy? He's not crazy, Mom. He's Daffy the Clown. And who's Wilfred? There you are, you little rascal! What's this all about? Whee! Where did that bird come from? I brought it here, Mom, but I thought I'd lost it. Hmm. The window's open. Oh. I guess Wolford just flew out and later flew back in again. This young lady saved my life, ma'am. I wouldn't have been able to do my act at the Bijou today without Wilfred. Wilfred is the smartest duck in the world. Wild! A duck that slides down the banister. Now, Wilfred, you have something for the young lady, haven't you? Gosh, thanks. Mom, do you mind if I don't have any duck today? I think I'll just have a salad. <laughs> No, I already have enough umbrellas. Thank you. Oh. It's been raining all day, and
and I haven't had a customer yet. Uh, little girl, can you tell me where Hemlock Avenue is? Oh, sure, mister. Uh, I'd be glad to take you there for only 50 cents. But I just want to know where it is. Third Street down on the left. Thanks. Darn! Oh! Oh, look, it's Lulu. Umbrella service, 50 cents. Hmm. Stop the limo, Cranberry. I want to get out. Master Wilbur, I might remind you that your father, Mr. Van Snob, didn't want you to get all wet. Don't worry about that, Cranberry. I have an umbrella. Oh, fresh rich kid, Wilbur Van Snob. This means trouble. I wonder what he's gonna try this time. Hi, Lulu. Oh, hi, Wilbur. How's business, hmm? Wonderful. I beat. Gee. I guess you're too tired to take another customer, then. Uh, 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 no, uh, I guess I could take one more. Oh, who is it? Me. Uh, but you're nice and dry in your limousine. Oh, uh, I had to get out and uh, stretch my legs. You know how it is sitting in a big limo all day. No, I don't know. And besides, you already have an umbrella. I, uh, I don't want my umbrella to get any wetter. So, are you gonna take me home? Yes, but only if you pay me in advance. Okay, but on one condition. What? If I get a single drop of water on my hat, you have to give me the 50 cents back. I knew there was a catch, but you're on. Now I'll turn my hat inside out so the water will show when it falls in. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Now, no tricks. Tricks? Why, well, I don't know what you mean. Come on, Lulu, I'm in a hurry to get home. <laughs> hey, wait! I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I'm just getting a little exercise. Do you like to play leapfrog, Lulu? Wilbur, don't! Wee! Just try to catch me now. Wilbur! <laughs> Wilbur, that's cheating! <laughs> Darn. Wilbur! I told you you shouldn't have done that. Hey, where are you going? That's not fair, Wilbur. <laughs> well, at least he won't get his hat wet in there. Uh-oh. Hey, Will, on the other end. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Help, somebody! I'm stuck! Hold this for me. Thanks. I still got time to walk. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Thanks again, doggy. Uh oh. No. Ha. You might as well give up, Wilbur. I'm too smart for you. Wanna bet? If I throw my hat in that puddle. It'll get wet, all right. No, Wilbur! Let go! <laughs> well, at least your hat isn't wet. Hey! No! Stop, doggy! Oh, Wilbur, what a gentleman you are. Oh. No, no, let go, doggy, stop! Good dog. That's a good dog. Now give Lulu the hat. Uh -oh. Stop, doggy! Hey! That's 
my dog! Hey! You didn't pay for that! Yes? This is Wilbur's hat! But, but, but how? It was about to land on a puddle when I rescued it. Well, thank you for returning it. Here's a dollar for your troubles. Gosh, oh, thanks a lot. Oh, and if you notice, it, it hasn't got a drop of water on it. That's more than I can say for Wilbur. <laughs> Wilbur! You're all wet. Why didn't you use your umbrella? There are so many jobs in the world to choose from. I can be a doctor, a teacher, but not a principal. A truck driver, a zookeeper, a police officer, or an astronaut, a clam digger, a donut hauler, haberdasher. Licorice cutter, net knotter, uh, a raisin counter, a ta taffy puller, water finder, or a yo-yoist. But no job beats babysitting, because you get paid to watch TV. Ha <laughs> ha 